you go up to 18, uh, James. And uh, it's our friend, the first numbers game, which is always a very interesting part of the proceedings in the last three or four games. James? Um, could I have four from the top, please, Carol, <laughs> and two from the third row? He keeps doing this to me. From the third row, Dan? Yes, please. OK, thank you. All right. What have we this time? Six and three. Those are the only surprises on this board, because you know what else is here. 175, 15, 25, all from the top row. And the target, long, long way to go, 952. Yes, OK, chaps, 952, 952. Here we go. Well, 952 then, James. I think I have 952. OK, that'd be great if you have 952. Gerald? 953. Oh, 953. Right, well, we've got a 953, Carol, and a 952. So let's have James's 952. Three times 100. Uh, sorry, can I do 100 plus 6? Okay, 100 plus 6, yes? Is 106. Yeah. Um, multiplied by 3. It's 318. Um, I'd like to multiply by 75 now. Multiply it by 75. Yes, please. Um, Multiply this by 75. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> and then divide it by something. Well, yes, in a minute, but... <laughs> okay, <that's laughs> I'm not quite clear what that makes, but that's certainly what I... I'd like to do 318 times 75. So times 75, and then what will you divide it? I'm going to take it? away 50. Oh, good grief. I'm going to need my calculator for this one. 318 times 75 um, is... OK, <laughs> let's work it out. Um, 25 plus... 23,850, apparently. <laughs> OK, now take away 50. <laughs> 23,000... Sorry, I've gone now. 23,800. And divide by 25, I hope. And divide this by... <laughs> by 25. Yeah. Do you know, I think you're right. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> I think he's right. 952. <laughs> I just can't believe that, Carol. Is that, I mean, I don't know what to say. Yeah, because if you multiplied that bit by the 4, that's how you get, because you divided like the 100 by the 25 to give you the 4. So you multiply that by the 4. And. Uh, that gives you the right answer. That is incredible, I have to say. That's probably the most incredible answer we've ever had on Countdown. <laughs> so what's going on here? Well, it's a lot simpler than it looks. Choosing all four numbers from the top row means you're guaranteed to get 25, 50, 75 and 100. So 6 and 3 are the only truly random numbers. Now you can use those big numbers to make small numbers. So for example, 25 plus 75 divided by 100 is 1, 50 divided by 25 is 2, 75 divided by 25 is 3, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. So we need to work out a solution that uses the 3 and the 6 along with the 1, 2, 3 and 4 that we can make from the big numbers. This solution works, but as you can see, we need to use an extra 3 and an extra 2. He can make the 3 out of the 75 and the 25. He can make the 2 out of the 50 and the 25. But that means he's using the 25 twice, so he's going to need to do both of those bits of maths at the same time. Right, well, we've got a 953, Carol, and a 952, so let's have James's 952. 3 times 100. Uh, sorry, can I do 100 plus 6? OK, 100 plus 6, yes? Is 106. Yeah. Um, multiplied by 3. It's 318. So now it starts to sound complicated. He needs to multiply his number by 75, then immediately divide it by 25 to achieve what he actually wants, which is to multiply it by 3. But then he'll have used the 25, so he can't then do the same thing to get his 2. Um, I'd like to multiply by 75 now. Multiply it by 75? Yes, please. Um, multiply this by 75? Yes, please. Um, 
Uh, and then divide it by something. Well, yes, in a minute, but... <laughs> OK, <that's laughs> What's interesting here is that neither the contestant nor Carol know what 318 multiplied by 75 is. The contestant is trying to do the first part of this piece of maths. But, remember, he can't use that 25 twice, so he's going to have to do this. And this is why it sounds so complicated, because Carol's trying to do everything one step at a time, but the contestant is simply multiplying it by 75, then, by subtracting the 50 and then dividing by 25, all he's really doing is multiplying it by 3 and subtracting 2. Nobody's actually working out what these huge numbers are in their heads at all. I'm not quite clear what that makes, but that's certainly what I'd like to do. 318 times 75. So times 75, and then what will you do? I'm going to take away 50. Oh, good grief. I'm going to need my calculator for this one. 318 times 75. Um, is. OK, let's work it out. Um, 25 plus... 23,850, apparently. <laughs> OK, now take away 50. <laughs> 23,000... Sorry, I've gone now. 23,800. And divide by 25, I hope. And divide this by... <laughs> By 25. Yeah. Do you know, I think you're right. <laughs> That's incredible. So in multiplying by 3 and subtracting 2, he's actually made something that sounds incredibly complicated. I hope that's given you some insight into a really cool way to play Countdown. And if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you on another video. Bye for now. I don't know what to say. Yeah, because if you multiplied that bit by the 4, that's how you get, because you divided like the 100 by the 25 to give you the 4, so you multiply that by the 4, and uh, that gives you the right answer. That is incredible, I have to say. That's probably the most incredible answer we've ever had on countdown. <laughs>